Wow, this is a crazy looking chair. Apparently the mayor was found drugged and unconscious in it. Really? Yeah, when he came to, he was arrested for murder. Talk about your rude awakenings. So he's a prime suspect of crime he knows nothing about. That stinks. Oh, poor Mr. Tenma, Sniffle. He must be feeling so dark, confused. Oh, it's up to us to save him. It's like she's on her own emotional roller coaster. Hmm. Let's take a look at this door. Forbidden chamber. They say the demon Tematara was imprisoned in the, there before his escape. Think we can get this door open? It's worth a try. Urgh. No good. It's shut tight. I don't even see a keyhole. Seems pretty helpful. Hidden justice we trust! Yikes! Did I just hear the voice of someone in need? Allow me to fill you in. This door simply will not open. We tried and tried, but it won't budge. This is such a part of our, the culture found in this manner, so we can't blow it up either. So an unopenable bed, 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 bed. So an unopenable door, right? According to Miss Jinxie Tenma, it was shut tight when she came across the crime scene. Thanks for the tip, Detective Fulbright. We didn't expect you to be so helpful. Ah, forget I just said that. So the forbidden chamber is shut tight at the time of the murder. Sounds like something I'd better keep in mind. What's this thing down here? These weird tracks must have been made when someone stepped in the alderman's blood. Maybe the killer inadvertently made them when they were fleeing. They're pretty big tracks, almost bird-like. The feathers also point to a bird. Then it must be one big bird and not the friendly yellow type either. Ah, I get it, big bird from Sesame Street. Lols. Maybe it's a mutant bird creature. So your theory is a giant mutant bird murdered Alderman Kiwi with a spear? It's more plausible than saying a monster or yokai did it. Sorry to burst your bubble, but a giant spear-wheeling bird is by definition a monster. Look, this statue only has one tail. Maybe it's the Nightail Fox's sidekick. I bet the number of tails represent a yokai's power. So if you had two, Apollo, I'd only have one. Wait, what? Not that it means you're better than me, got it? Like I said, what? Okay. This one's a spear, but what about this one? It looks like a giant pair of pliers. It looks like something a demon might use. Saw something like that in a manga once. Really? What are they used for? Oh, things like pinching through cheeks. Eww! Pulling out tongues. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, and you should see what they can do to a person's eyes. Okay, okay, I get the idea, but I'm sure this thing is just a simple can opener, something like that. Demons eat canned food? I always wonder what they besides people. What else do we need to look at? Oh. Hmm, what do we have here? Looks like the statue of the Ninetale Fox and Tamataro battling it out. Yeek! Careful, Paul, it's got blood on it. Really? Hey, you're right. Wonder if it's the Alderman's blood. How can you remain so calm after seeing all this blood? Well, this isn't the first I've seen something like this, so... You're no fun at all. At least act surprised you're gross out or something for my first case. I'm already a lawyer. You want me to be an actor, too? Fox and Demon statue out of the court record. Cool. Look, a cat with two tails. No such thing. Oh, and this lady has really long neck. Ha ha ha, how funny is that? There's no way a creature like that could ever exist. She had the left. Oh, just, just, just to clarify, who has taught, who, someone told us about, oh, her friends with the long neck. And the, something or other. Yeah, her friends. 
Jinxie's friends. Paul, I bet you were one of those kids who didn't believe in Santa Claus. What's that got to do with anything? Hey, this window opens. That's better. It was hot in here. No. And now outside we have ourselves a steep cliff. The window only opens about six inches, not wide enough for anyone to get in or out. Look, Apollo. There's something caught in the window frame. It looks like gold fur. What a pretty color. It must be from some kind of animal. Wonder what it's doing here. Did Alderman QB have a pet fox? No, it's from the uh, wrestling costume, I'm guessing. Guess that about wraps it up. Now, if only we can get that detective to tell us what he knows. Hey, Apollo, do you hear something? Hmm? I don't hear anything. Oh, right. Your hearing must not be as sensitive as mine. Um, what are you talking about? A whooshing sound, like wind whooshing through the narrow strait. And the echo of someone's voice. And, and, and just as we trust. Ha ah, ha ha! Someone's got a sharp set of ears. That was the sound of my righteous voice reverberating through the air duct. I heard it through the air ducts. Yeah, check it out. But why would you hear you through there? Why don't we go to the diagram? As you can see, that vent is connected to an air duct that leads out into the hallway. The wind must have rushed through here and carried my monologue with it straight to your ears. And what a unique monologue it was. I was just thinking, maybe the killer made their escape through the air duct or something. <laughs> a cute theory, but I don't think so. The air duct in the hallway is low enough to climb into, that much is true. But as you can see, the vent in the ceiling is very high. Nine feet high, in fact. I highly doubt that there's any way to get up there without a ladder or something. And I don't see anything of the sort in this room, do you? Hmm, I guess you're right. Speaking of the things in this room. Yeah, yeah? Can you tell us what you guys turned up, Detective Fulbright? Not on my watch, buddy. In the name of justice, I cannot reveal facts pertaining to the prosecution's case. Aw, oh, come on, throw us a bone here. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright? But I recall you saying earlier that you would come running whenever we were in need. Yurk, I suppose I did say that helping those in need is what justice is all about. But but keeping information out of enemy hands is also a form of justice. Hmm. Arrgh. Which justice is most just wise is always so hard. Hmm. Well, how about this? Let's do a little give and take. I mean, serving the public is part of justice too, right? You know, like the police motto? To serve and protect. I doubt leaking information to the defense team falls under that motto. Yes, of course. I must serve and well as and what as well as protect. They, they're getting so much typos in this game. Okay, I will share some information. In the name of justice. We did it, Apollo. Yeah, we did it alright, but I'm not sure that was entirely ethical. Was it Mrs. Jinxie Tenor who first discovered the crime scene? That's right, and the photo shows what she saw when she opened the door. Miss Tenma had a key allowing her immediate access. A key? So then the fox chamber was locked? Yes, and Miss Tenma had the only key to its door. Really? So Alderman Cubie didn't have a key to the fox chamber? Actually, he had a master key for most of the doors in the manor, but it disappeared after his murder. Disappeared? You think the killer took it? It could very well be connected to the murder. We're looking into the possibility now. But it's the timing of Miss Tenema's discovery that I think is most important. Of course, I'm not going to share that information with you. <laughs> you think you're some kind of champion of justice, but you're just plain old me. I won't fall for that, you shameless rascal. I only help good little boys and girls. Shameless rascal? Who even says that? Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a good little girl either. Whoa.
Those feathers and tracks look like something a yokai might leave behind. You don't actually think the murderer was some sort of monster, do you? What's the name of the creature in the Forbidden Chamber? Tenma something? Because from the black feathers and big tracks, it looks like that creature did it. Our prime suspect would no doubt love to pin the blame on some imaginary creature. Tenma watch, whatchamacallit, even me made a victim of slander? I doubt the mayor would do something as child as blaming a boogeyman. So the most likely scenario so far is that Tenma guy left the feathers and tracks behind to make it look like Yokai Tenma was a killer. Wait, what? Now I'm confused as you. Anyway, I doubt Mayor Tenma would plan evidence like that. So Mayor Tenma is your only suspect? That's right. Even his name, Damien Tenma, makes him sound like a villain. And he's really scary looking too. Wait, are you telling me that's why he was arrested? Ha 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 ha, don't be ridiculous. He was the only one without an alibi. Oh, is that so? Yup, other than that victim, the suspect, and Miss Tenma, the only others around were Mr. Filch and Mayor Tenma's aide, and the two of them were together at the same at the time. Filch, the guy who tried to steal my bracelet, just living up to his name, I guess. We should go talk to him again when we have a chance. What about Jinxie? She's not being suspected at all. She may- Oh, I was like- Oops, Sorry about that, guys. But she also has a motive. Hold on, sorry guys, I had to shut off my phone. She may also have a motive, but it's also no motive. It's unfathomable that she would murder the alderman and pin the crime on her father. Besides, do you really think a little girl could lift up this huge spear? True enough, that spear looks even bigger than her. That's about all I can reveal at this time. Well, you must admit, Damien Tenma appears to be the most likely subject. Suspect? I'll admit it looks bad, but I'm still not buying it. Oh, and one more thing. I must warn you about the prosecutor. The prosecutor signed a Mayor Tenma's trial? Dad, trial? That's the one. He's, how shall I put it, not what you'd expect. That is, unless you face a convicted killer serving hard time as a prosecutor before. What the? Is this some kind of joke? Can I ask why a man in prison for murder is serving as prosecutor? Because he's mastered the use of psychology in courtroom battles. Everyone's talking about how this murder was the work of some strange creature. But yokai are nothing more than a figment of the imagination. They're uh, baloney. Who better to prove this than the master of psychology? He's the best man for the job. But he's a convicted murderer. No matter how you look at it, that's just insane. Well, the chief prosecutor personally assigned him, so... None of us are in a position to question the matter. Ha 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 ha. This really is the dark age of the law. This prosecutor, she wouldn't happen to go by the name Blackquill, would he? Bingo! Simon Blackquill. So you have heard of him. You could say that. She dated him. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I bet you don't know this unofficial title. Ever heard of the Twisted Samurai? That prosecutor, Blackwell. The Twisted Samurai? Is that because he's a criminal? Well, yes and no. You could say it. Also, to do with the effect his crime had on things. How so? His conviction is what twisted and warped the legal world into the dark age of the law. What? And he of all people is going to stand in court tomorrow? Ha 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 ha. Never fear. I myself will be there to protect you. That's reassuring. I guess. Well, you kids knock yourselves out. Can't wait to see how you do tomorrow. Wait, Detective Fulbright? I've been meaning to ask you something. Um, why are you barefoot? This doesn't look like the sort of place where you need to take your shoes off. Hmm. Ah, ah, I hadn't even noticed. Why am I barefoot? You honestly hadn't noticed till just now. Wait a second. Those shoes we found earlier. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright. These wouldn't have to be your shoes, would they? Yes, yes they are. My favorite pair, in fact. Thank you for bringing them to me. You must truly be on the side of justice. Don't tell me Mr. Filch actually stole from a detective. Stealing shoes right off someone's feet. That's pretty amazing. I find it more amazing that Detective Fulbright didn't notice. Well, looks like we've gotten all we can out of the detective, so let's see. Maybe we should go have a word with Mr. Filch. I want to hear what his alibi is. Alright. 
That was a long, that was like a 45 minute little ditty there. All right, well, I'm going to save it and end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll complete the rest of this uh, next time. This will probably be three episodes long. This session was. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.